Well, happy Thursday, and thanks for coming back to us here on the Hecton Hangout Hour here on the Concha Valley homepage. Tabon, it's really warm, or really cold outside. <laughs> I was going to say, are you kidding with me right now? Because I'm, I'm cold, and this is where we're supposed to be this time of year, but I'm not going to lie, this is a little bit cold for me. Oh, yeah. We're going to see a high of 60 today, plenty more sunshine. We saw some showers overnight, even you could hear the rumbles of that thunderstorm that yep. we heard. Uh, but, of course... bit more on the gusty side with those winds because we are going to have another cold front that's going to move through as we head into this afternoon. So that's going to keep our winds a little bit more on the gusty side with gusts to 30 miles per hour. Consistent winds about 15 to 20 as we progress throughout the day. So even though our high will be about 60, again, we were talking about wind chills closer to 50. So feeling a little cool. Maybe wear a long sleeve and a jacket as you're heading out like I am. Right now I am wearing a long sleeve under this. But overall, it's going to be a nice day right near average for today. Yeah, it's not bad, but do bring a jacket. Yes. And tomorrow is going to be colder too. <laughs> very, so you're very You're going to want to pull that jacket out of the closet if you've already Maybe it even away. three of them. Oh, if, you're, yeah. <laughs> if you're somebody like me and you get cold really easily, I'll probably be wearing three jackets tomorrow. I'll have the heavy jacket on tomorrow. <laughs> Today I've got the light jacket, but tomorrow yeah. we're going to need that heavy we're jacket. We're going to need the heavy jacket. So today what we're going to do is kind of show you again behind the scenes of what's happening here on the San Angeles Stock Show and Rodeo Fairgrounds. We're going to head towards uh, the petting zoo right now, so follow us in. We're going to be careful that the animals don't kind of nibble on our wires we've got going on. Oh, yeah. Hi, how are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. And this is my favorite part. Here's the little goat. We oh, were yeah. here earlier, and how old is this little goat now? Not that one. That one's about uh, 10 months old. Oh, that one's 10 months. Yeah. It's so little. Hello. Uh, the other guy who's playing <laughs> with his mom over in the corner, he's almost a week old. He's oh my gosh, old. a week old. Hello, animals. They're so cute. If you guys want to go to the petting zoo, it's definitely it's free, but you can pay to get uh, some of the little feeders to feed them. I think it's about 2 or $3 to get them the little feeders and these are some hungry animals to buy because they're they're trying to nibble on some wires i know they're trying to they were one was just trying to eat my jacket they'll eat Where's anything the little, hello. they're so cute up, i don't dude? know about you but this is one of my favorite parts of the san angeles stock show and rodeo it's always the petting zoo oh yeah it's awesome it's always the petting There's zoo oh there it is i see it it's hiding it's so small oh the baby goat i think it's sleeping hi there's a few baby goats in here how you doing? Look at how small it is. She said it's about a week old. Oh my goodness. Look at how little. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Oh. How cute. Can we please just zoom in on how cute that small little goat is? I'm sorry, but that is just the cutest thing. Like if you don't come to see the whole petting zoo, you should at least come to see this small little baby goat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Josh, am I wrong? No, you aren't wrong at all. It's a cute little goat. It's so cute. It's just one of the many animals they have here in the petting zoo. I see a llama, I see a horse, the goats, the baby goat, chickens, ducks. There's a donkey, deer, plenty of deer. What are those ones that look like kangaroos? I don't see them right now. Uh, the little wallaby, I don't know where he went. Oh, right there, inside of the cage out there. Oh, there he is, a little wallaby. A little wallaby, he's just, he looks like a kangaroo. So cute, this little spotted horse. Yeah, <laughs> a little miniature pony here. I love it. So you have the kids kind of lining up, they're about to come into the petting zoo too, all the animals flocking to all the food. Oh yeah. Oh, leaving the baby by there, There's the feeding frenzy right there. Look look back there, Victor. Look at him going after the food to the line. I'm still obsessing over this small little goat. <laughs> I can't, I can't even, I can't do much else. Hi. Yeah, so I'll just stay here for the rest of the hour. Is that okay with you? <laughs> yeah, we'll just walk out of here. It's a nice little spot. It's out of the wind right there for the little I goat. know. So comfy in the sun right there. And today's actually a good day. I mean, it's a little bit chillier, a little bit. but a lot more going on today than there was yesterday. You've got the kids, oh, yeah. you know, coming in uh, to do the tours. And I know they have a little bit of a show when we go over there. Mm -hmm. 
So there's a show that's going to be on there yeah. in a little bit uh, around 10:30, and they do little races with the animals. Little animal races. So that's going to be super cute. So we'll make sure to show you guys that as well, and whatever else is going on here on the fairgrounds. Yeah, there's plenty of stuff going on. They're loading in a few animals today because there's another stock show happening tomorrow. I mm -hmm. believe it's some sort of cattle. Not right. sure which one. I don't have my schedule with me, but they are loading cattle into the uh, Housley Cattle Barn there. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll walk through there. We'll know. Yeah. We'll, we just. We just go as we want to. We here. do, we really do. And if you guys don't know about the app that we have, you know, yes. you could see the rodeo schedule, uh, all the rodeo stock, stock show schedules out there on the app. It's very convenient. It yep. kind of is a makeshift app. So you download uh, kind of the website to your Yeah, you go to cbhpdigital.com mm -hmm. slash rodeo on your phone. And then you're going to click on your browser and click add to home screen, whether it be an iPhone or an Android, and you'll have it right there. You just click it. And boom, you're in it. Yep, there you go. It's Super easy. App. You can find the rodeo schedules, the stock show schedules, mm -hmm. pretty much everything. You can see results on there. So yep. a lot of convenient things while you're looking at that. Absolutely. Well, I think we're going to take a break here, yep. kind of see what else is going on. We'll be back with more here on the Hecton Hangout Hour at the stock show. Yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Welcome back to Hangout Hour at the Stock Show, sponsored by Hector Crop Insurance. Tabon, we found a pretty cool place in the yes, Midway here. Yes, we did. We're here with Emily right now. And Emily, tell us what you're doing here. Uh, so we're the Great American uh, Speedway Crazy Animal Races, otherwise known as Gas Car. So we have goats, sheep, pigs, and poultry all racing each other for the crown title, Fastest in the Farmyard. The beautiful part about it is you do not know who is going to win. Yeah. Like, we do pig races, too, mm -hmm. at other events. But the beauty of Gas Car is that you never know what's going to happen. Uh, we have cheating animals out here. <laughs> it's very funny, very entertaining. You just don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to win. So any any thing kind of goes out here yeah so how long have y'all been doing this out here at the stock show this is our very first year here at San Angelo so we're very excited to be here um, as far as gas car we've been doing it since 2007 wow. and uh, me personally since 2008 Wow. wow. so you, you mentioned that there's plenty of animals doing this what all do y'all have again poultry pigs what what all so we race goats sheep pigs and poultry all against each other so each race is a little bit different where we switch out the bird it'll be either a turkey chicken or duck okay has and there been one story that's just super funny that you have to share what have the animals done well i hate to give out any of our secrets but there is a cheating <laughs> racer out here and she's hilarious when she does her cheating thing. And it's always a big battle in the audience uh, whether or not she wins mm -hmm. because she does make it to the finish line first every single time. <laughs> but people think that because she cheated, she doesn't get to win. So there's always a big battle in the audience, which makes it just very funny. That is so cute. I love it so much. And you guys are starting here in just a few moments, right? Correct. Yep. Our first show today is at 1030. And then we are going to do a 1 o'clock, a 430 and it's six o'clock. Okay, and is that schedule the same every day? Uh, weekdays, yes. The weekends, I will change it up a little bit to, because the uh, the roadie doesn't open until noon. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll, it'll be later in the day for people to you know actually get to visit. That's so fun. Okay, I'm so excited to watch all this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, well, we're going to take a quick break. Emily, thank you so much for explaining all You're that welcome. with us. We're really excited to watch that Good. show. And when we come back from the break, you're going to watch the show with us, so don't go away. It's going to be exciting. <laughs> Welcome back everybody. We're here at the Great American Speedway where they're setting up for the animal races. It looks like it's going to be super funny. Looks like a blast. Yeah, so we're going to sit here and watch it and we figured if you guys want to watch it too, we're going to show you all that. So she's setting up right now, getting all those flags it looks like ready. Uh, we have a lot of people in the audience and they're going to, you oh, know, yeah. watch all this go down. You'll probably hear a lot of laughter, I'm sure, <laughs> especially from us here. Oh, so. we'll be laughing. We'll be laughing hard. And what did she say the animals. animals she has here? She said she's got poultry, pigs, a goat, and uh, what was the other one? Poultry, pigs, a goat, and... Uh, we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. I see one of the pigs now. So cute. And she said there's a cheater. There's she a cheater. said one of them is a cheater and always wins. So we're going to find out which one does that. We'll have to figure that out. <laughs> Sounds like it's going to be really funny. So looks like they're doing last minute preparations and oh, they're going to get the races go. going. I know they're excited. It looks like 
The little pig was already well, trying to get out here to race. <laughs> boys and girls and all you race fans out there today, welcome to the Great American Speedway and our crazy animal races here at the San Angelo Stock Show and Rodeo. How's everyone doing today? Are we having a good day? Oh, I think you guys can get louder than that. I want everybody out there. I said, how are you doing? Are we having a good day? So it looks like awesome. the poultry is going to be ready to see turkey. Thank you guys for coming out and joining us. Now, my name is Emily, and this is Gaspar. Now, folks, I want to see by a show of hands. How many of you out there love pig races? Yes, we do love pig races. The better question is, who doesn't love pig races? Well, today we are going to show you something a little bit different. Only here at the Great American Speedway are you going to watch There's the pig. There's a little pig. Pigs and poultry. All sheep. racing each other. That's what it is. It's a sheep. Fastest in the farmyard. Who will be crowned today? Nobody knows. And that is the beauty of it. Before we can get our little racers running, though, I need to pick. All right. Who do you think is going to win, Josh? Now we are looking for the loudest. I'm gonna go with the, the goat. Are you go with the goat? Yeah. I don't know, man. So pigs, pigs are pretty fast. That's true. Pigs, pigs can run pretty leader. fast. But look at the legs on the goat. No, raise oh, yeah. <laughs> but does not count. I want the loudest people out there. Who wants to be a team leader out here today, guys? Ooh, Me. You can get loud yeah. <laughs> yeah, you want to be a team leader? Well, this guy right here. There's a sheep. If I choose There's the sheep. Down. What color? I'm gonna go with the goat. I think the yeah. goat's gonna yeah. win. Yeah. I think you've got to choose one, Josh. Are you waiting excited. till you can see them all? I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna go with the turkey. You're gonna go with the turkey. I'm gonna go with the turkey. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm coming down this way. Oh, stay on this side of the. Under the, there we go. Other side of the flags, you guys. Thank you. We don't want to distract the racers. We need somebody from over here who's excited. Right here, this guy in green, what color? He's taking the you green. You may be right, right now. Right, goat may be able to, I really uh, be able think to it's going to be. Fences. I have a good feeling I'm about the goat. The blue you have a good jacket. feeling about the goat. Is it because you saw that baby goat Ladies earlier? I think so. I think I, I just I think fell so much exactly in love why. with the baby goat <laughs> that all I can think about is goats <laughs> now. They're just so cute. Well, if you were not chosen to be a team leader, well, of course, you already missed out on the goat show. We, we saw that the other day. Oh, yeah. The, two more chances the uh, to be a team leader. boar goat so show and yes. also you the uh, weather that. goat show. Next time we are just going to get also a cute. They had little baby louder. goats there, too. All right, race yep. number one. We are starting out with our country cutie <laughs> For those of you at home, just, just add baby to any animal. It's a bond will go on. That's very, very true. It's like an automatic response. And I think the bond would just go all for, for a baby down. rat. You have probably. Definitely. No, I, I, I <laughs> probably I can't lie to you on that one. <laughs> Coming on down baby, anything is just so cute. Oh yeah. Team leader. Now this guy started out as a rock and roll singer, but he came <laughs> on over to the countryside with his hit single all summer long. You have Kid Rock for the blue team. I'm assuming that's the goat. Coming is that the go? Our green racer. Now you have one of my favorites out here. She is the flying, jumping, leaping, woolly wonder herself, Miss Miranda Lambert. That's the, the lamb. <laughs> yep. And that leaves us with our orange racer. You only get half of this dynamic duo because having two just wouldn't be fair. You have the cruise and piggy, Florida Georgia swine for the oh orange my team. <laughs> These names, man. They're all so right, funny. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what do y'all say? Who is going to win this first race? The Who's goat. The goat? One hundred percent. I've guys for your racers. I've got the poultry, the turkey. I've got the goat. Come on, little goat. Keep going. Remember the louder you are for your racers, the faster they will go. There they go. Oh look at that goat go. Oh but look at that. There's there's my turkey. Look at the turkey. Wow, you might be right. The turkey, there they go. Oh, they're done. Nope, there goes the goat. Look at the goat. Oh, the goat, the goat. Oh, the goat. Oh, man. It is the blue team, ladies and gentlemen. Goat. I didn't think it was. Look at that. I oh, look, my turkey's last. <laughs> he was going pretty fast up until the end there. Just stopped. But he just. He slowed, he just, he did settle for that slowdown after all. That's all right. Give you a blue team leader a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. I have a oh prize my goodness. for you, darling. 
I'm going to come around and collect the flags, folks, and we are going to pick out. That was super that was cute. Really cool. That was really great. So, that was awesome. That was really cool. Well, you saw that there. Yep. It looks like my pick one. Yeah. The goat really beat the races there. I'm sorry, the turkey fell a little bit yeah. behind. Yeah, but, it happens. You know. That's why I'm not a betting person. Yeah. Well, I'm we didn't bet. Person. All good fun. I just wanted, I was really rooting for that goat there. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> that was really fun to watch. You guys should come out and watch it. They have this going on. Really, throughout the rodeo here, out here, the times are scheduled. They have them at 10.30, you know, uh, and they have them all throughout the weekend. And coming up next, we're going to go taste the food truck, another food. food truck out there. We're talking about a fried Oreo oh my goodness. wrapped in bacon. Oh, my goodness. They have that at this food truck. I'm not <laughs> kidding. So we're going to go try that. And, of course, don't forget to check out the Conch Valley homepage app, and you can download a rodeo version of that to find schedules of the rodeo races and everything like that. So, of course, stay here. We'll take a little break, and we'll be back at the food trucks. Well, welcome back to another edition of Hangout Hour at the Stock Show, sponsored by Acton Crop Insurance. Tavon, we're out in a food truck again. I know you are really excited to be here. Fried at we fry uh, sweet desserts and uh, savory, you know, items as well. Um, all the good stuff. Yeah, all the good stuff. Tell us a little bit how you got involved in food trucks. Um, I've been involved probably about 15 years now. Okay. Uh, started out with the fried Twinkies, and uh, we just kept adding. You know, customers would say, "Hey, fry this or fry that," <laughs> you know, and so here we are. You know, so it's just uh, anything that's that's normal, we take it and we make it better. It's awesome because so what what do you think your uh, biggest seller is the biggest seller is uh the oreos uh followed by the brownies brownie with a scoop of ice cream that sounds delicious that sounds really delicious and how long have you been doing this again uh, about 15 years 15 years is this your first time at the san angelo stock show this is our first year here yes sir what do you think of it so far uh i love it really? yeah everybody's nice here <laughs> yeah What's the furthest you've been from where you're from? Because y'all are from Plano, right? We are from Plano, okay. Texas. Okay. And the furthest we go is uh, Davenport, Iowa. Man. Yeah. That's a long ways. And it's a lot colder than it is here, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we go in the summertime, so it's not too bad. Man. So not only do you have food, you also have drinks, right? We do. Uh, one of our more, more popular items this year is the uh, jalapeno lemonade. My goodness. Yeah, surprisingly good. Is it spicy? It is. Really? It's not too spicy. Uh, it's spicy not here, but it's spicy a little bit here. Spicy in your throat? It is. <laughs> and the hot chocolate, too, it looks like. Right? Oh, yeah. And that's going to be a big seller tomorrow, man. It's uh, hopefully so, yeah. So we're yeah. excited about this. So can you give us a tour in there, show us how it works? Yeah, we'll go. All right, let's do it. All right. Thank you. It's a cool setup. I love the floors oh, in I here. I love the floor. That's awesome. So cool. All right. And we see the fryers. Yeah, there's the fryers there. So tell us what you're making here. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, we'll do a uh, brownie uh, with the ice cream. Uh, we'll do bacon wrapped Oreos. Ah, yes. And uh, we'll do the cheesecake. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. And uh, anything else? Oh no, that yeah. sounds like plenty. Okay. Let's see how you make Let's all those. Get <laughs> so what we do is uh, we start with our homemade batter, uh, which is here. This is what we fry our uh, sweet items in, uh, which is the Oreos, um, the Twinkies, you know, the cheesecake. Uh, the cheesecake actually comes in a flour tortilla, but that's red velvet batter. Oh, uh, so Love red we have we use that with the Oreos. Uh, instead of frying the Oreos with the red velvet, uh, we make the batter. Makes it better. Comes with cream cheese with, with that as well. Uh, this is our pickle stuff, and so uh, I will start with the brownie, uh, the bacon wrap, and the cheesecake. All right, we're ready to see you get underway. Okay. Friend, your way. You could just tell us to move. <laughs> So that's the brownie that's dipped that in there. That is the brownie. Okay. All right, and then it goes here.
Oh, cool. It's got a little holder oh, for wow. it. Wow. Yep. That's so convenient. It's so pretty on the inside. And you could already see it frying. Didn't take long for it to get underway. Bacon wrapped Oreos. Oh. And so is this a family owned business? It is. Yeah? It is. This is my mom and my sister. Hi, everyone. It's nice to meet you. What are your names? My name's Little. Nice to meet you. It's nice, nice to meet you. And this is the first year you've been here at the San Angelo Stock Show and Rodeo? This is the first year we're here. So you're excited to be here? How are you liking yeah. the weather? <laughs> the weather is nice. Actually, it's a little better than in uh, Plano. Yeah? <laughs> we're happy to be here. Well, we're happy to have you. I'm going to tell you, I haven't seen a bacon-wrapped Oreo before. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't either. I've so, seen so a exciting. bacon wrapped Oreo. <laughs> We know they fry tons of stuff in Dallas at the State Fair, but I've personally never seen the food You haven't food seen there. a bacon-wrapped Oreo? I've never Oreo. seen a bacon-wrapped Oreo. Well, there you go. So Brand I'm excited new. to see how it turns out. Then we're going to take the cheesecake and put the cheesecake down in there. Oh, wow. And we'll do its thing. Now, is the cheesecake wrapped in a tortilla there? It is. Wow. It is. It's probably one of the best pieces of cheesecake you'll have. Oh. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's really good. And so, what... What are you having to do there now? You're just dipping just it, further it down in the oil, yeah. and you're holding it with pliers so you don't get burned. Exactly. Okay. I've been burned plenty of times. Oh, and man. how hot are those fryers? Uh, they get up to uh, 375. 375. Oh, man. Is that where you have them when you fry, or is there kind no, of? No, it's happy about 350. 350. We fry. We try All to right. keep it there, but uh, it fluctuates. We use uh, propane. Okay. So it fluctuates. So I have to constantly watch. So how it. do you know when it when it's done? Experience. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> well, whenever the batter is done, it's done. Okay. And so we pull it and uh, we get it ready. All right. So that's already done. That was done. Wow. All right. So I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to grab some ice cream. Okay. And oh, man. Here, and they will come over here and prep. So what we're doing now is prepping the ice cream to put the deep fried brownie on? Uh, correct. Okay. And then we've got the cheesecake still going there in the fryer and we've got the bacon. Is that in this thing, the bacon Oreo? That is the bacon okay. Oreo. Do you have something that's the most popular item or do you think people just come for everything? The most popular anything without Oreos. Anything with the yeah, Oreos. We have Oreos uh, four different ways. We have the regular Oreos. Uh, we have the red velvet Oreos, and of course we have the bacon wrap. Wow. Yeah. I love Oreos. This is definitely the food truck for me, I think. So that's the brownie and the ice cream there. there. The Almost ready. The There's the cheesecake. Wow, that looks incredible. It's like a, it looks kind of like a burrito, but it's cheesecake. Exactly. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Cheesecake. Here comes the cheesecake as they try to prep that. So this is your first year here. Where do you usually go? Uh, we go to, uh, this year we're going to Hunt County, uh, the Hunt County Fair, which is in Greenville, Texas. Uh, we go to uh, Devonport, Iowa, okay. Mississippi Valley Fair. Then we drop down to the Illinois State Fair. Uh, we do the Plano Balloon Festival. Um, and then we do the uh, McKinney Home for the Holidays. Okay. Uh, which is their Christmas show. That's so fun. And so you go all around. Is there one city that you've really enjoyed the most? Uh, I enjoy all of them. San yeah. Angelo is really nice. Very welcoming really nice. community. Everybody's nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have it done here. All right, so let's head on over there, right? Wow, that looks incredible. That's Bond. Take, look look at all this fried food. I've got to snap a photo food. of that first. Oh I mean, my come goodness. on, just the presentation alone. Gorgeous. All right, so. So one more time. We have. Brownie with the scoop mm -hmm. of ice cream. Okay. Cheesecake here. 
and the bacon wrapped bacon Oreos. Bacon wrapped Oreos. All right. Are you ready, Josh? Uh, I'm ready. Are yeah, you this ready? This looks really good. Okay. Dude. What are we trying with first? I think we should go with the bacon wrapped I, Oreos I'm first. I'm down. All right. I'm down. Let's try this. Cheers to it. Oh, you're just going for it. Oh, we All right. Mmm. <laughs> ah. Dang. It's sweet, and it's got the taste of bacon in it. So I think perfect. that's everything I hoped and desired. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's amazing. Okay. I need to save that for later because I'm going to eat the rest of that for sure. Let's try this one here. Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is that the cheesecake? Gosh, yes. That's amazing. Okay. Ready? You don't want to cheers it this time? Oh, we <laughs> can cheers it this time, too. <laughs> You're right. Wow. That, that's pretty darn that's good. That's a really good cheesecake. Yeah. That's actually my favorite cake, too, is cheesecake. Really? Yep. Fine. That is amazing. Oh, yeah. All right. Going with the next one. That's the brownie and the ice cream. That's the brownie now, and the ice cream. How do you recommend we start with that? Do we dip it in the ice cream or? Take no. like a, you know what I'm going to do? Bite the you just bite it. Get you a scoop of, get a scoop of ice cream after oh, that? Yeah. I'm just going to put it on top. That's smart. <laughs> How is it? Wow. That is so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, thank you. Wow. You're very welcome. Yeah, that's delicious. If you want the combination of some sweet, some salty, and also more sweet, I excuse excuse me if I have food all in my mouth, but that is absolutely so, so good. <laughs> thank, you. Oh, thank you. Fried at located right across the petting zoo, right next to the animal races. You have the Ice tea stand on the other side. Definitely come check them out. Thank you again for You're showing welcome. us all of this. Awesome. Definitely come check them out here. And hopefully we can see you again. And we'll be here. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for joining us. We'll be right back after this break. Three, two. Welcome back, everyone. Yeah, to the Hecton Hangout Hour here at the Stock Show. It's a bomb. We've done a lot of cool stuff We've today. done a lot of cool stuff today over the past couple of days, and we've still got a lot more of the rodeo left to explore and show you the behind the scenes of. Of course, we'd like to thank San Angelo RV, and we'd also like to thank Suddenlink for helping us bring all Always. this rodeo coverage. And I think until next time, we're going to sit here. I'm going to drink my jalapeno lemonade. I'm going to drink my fried, eat my fried cheesecake. I've got the fried brownie. Oh my gosh, all from Fried At. Good food. Here, yep. So we're going to just sit here and enjoy the rest of it, and we'll see you guys next time.